to your economic field. But uh, as the writer says, uh, we should know the purpose of business. Business also reminds us of capitalism. So the de development of your country means you in, uh, pull the capitalism to your economy. Uh, invite the capitalism, induce the capitalism to your country. But we should know there are lots of problems in capitalism. As the communism has lots of problems, so the capitalism has lots of problems. Of course, capitalism has more advantages, more good points than cap communism, but communism is not perfect. But nowadays, many young people are allured, are deceived by just uh, our appearance of capitalism. So all the TV advertisement, all entertainers tempt us to make a pleasurable life. It's a physical happiness or a uh, material happiness. Why? Nowadays, Western capitalism lost something important. The writer says, the purpose of business is performance of our aesthetic dimension and it is living well. The purpose of business is living well. That is the beauty of business. The, the writer <coughs> connect the beauty and the business. But in fact, maybe most of people never think business is beauty. Business just make money. So in the business world, in fact, as Nina said, I'm not Nina said, in this book, there is a competitive relationship. There is only competition. In the competition, when you lose the competition, how do you feel? I'm yeah, sad. I'm defeated. Uh, I'm a neighbor person. What should I do? Very depressed, right? In this class, who is there, there is only one person who gets the force to win, right? So all the other people are losers. How sad is this theory? But in the collaborat collaborative relationship, there is no loser. Do you know the strategy in business or in any field? Win-win strategy. Win-win strategy. Usually in the contest, in this rabbit and tortoise contest, there is one winner and one loser. This strategy, this game is a win and lose game, the winner strategy. But in the collaborative atmosphere, collaborative structure, there is no loser. There is only winners and winners. Yeah, how wonderful. So in our relationship, we always try to have this win-win relationship. How can you get this uh, win-and-win strategy in the cooperative or collaborative situation? In the family, uh, fa father is a winner and mother is a loser. No. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Father is a king, 
And Mary is just a servant sometimes. In the long, long time ago. In the many families. Uh, maybe the woman always should follow the man. It's a winner and loser strategy. So woman always feel depressed. Even the fact, the birth of just women is depressed, make the women depressed. So it's a, how, how foolish. <laughs> so nowadays, even in the business world, the businessmen are awakened <coughs> by the win-win-win strategy. Well, if you make harmony, if you make collaborative relationship, we can make more pride. Even in the family, if you are cooperative, the atmosphere of family is very happy and relaxed. Really, my family is a home, sweet home. But if there is a lots of conflicts, we don't want to go into the home. If your parents are in the conflict, you really don't want to go to home. So, but if parents make a good relationship, collaborative relationship, we really want to have a rest in your home. So likewise, the writer says, nowadays, we are losing neighbors. He already uh, is that make an example of your country. Nowadays, many people live in the apartment building. Mm. There are lots of building is uh, standing in China, right? Mm? Apartment is part. Apartment is P A R depart. There are lots of words. There is no communication. Mm. The building itself, the building structure, make the people separate not collaborative. We cannot avoid this social phenomenon. Of course, we need cooperation. We need help. We need rest. We need cooperation. But structure, the economic structure, make us separate. How can we avoid this trend. Uh, when you live, maybe your ancestors lived in the farming society, right? Uh, in your country's perspective, uh, what is the most important industry in the old time in your country? Industry. Mm important main industry. Mm. You don't grow the rice. No. No. We don't have. What what was your main? Um, main industry nowadays uh, after the, after independence nineteen ninety one. Plant. I mean industry is developing nowadays. It's uh, like a Korean devil there. If you mean industrial exactly. I mean, before the, this capitalistic society, what was your main industry? Agriculture. Agriculture. In Malaysia, in Vietnam, in Korea too. Okay, let's uh, see through the architecture society. Uh, agriculture. Agriculture society. Mm. Can you uh, grow up the rice? Or no? We really need it. We really need cooperation, especially in farm and agriculture. Right? When you make harvest, you need a lot of hands. Uh, and uh, where is your ancestor's farmland? It is very near to your home. You don't need to go to the um, job 
by car. So in the farming country, in the farming area, and the agricultural society, automatically you should be collaborative. There are lots of relatives. It's, it's a, uh, it is called the gregarian society. It means collective society. But nowadays, after the industrial revolution, the people build lots of factories, and most people depart from their country, their hometown. Where did they go? Where did they go? City. city, to the city. Why? To get the money, to live, to survive. Farming doesn't make lots of money. Just trade and commerce, and factory, pro producing, make us more money. So many people gather around in the city. It is very close. And when they go to job, work, they should depart from their home. And they spend lots of times in the factory, in the business company. Most of their time are occupied by their job. So, so now, we miss the olden time. At that time, many people gathered together. They helped each other. As the proverb says, it takes a village to raise a child. What does that mean? All the neighbors gather together to live, to raise the children. So it's a very cooperative or collaborative society. But now, though we miss that society, that wonderful sweet home, sweet village, do you think we can move back to that society, agriculture, industry society? No, no. But human nature, human original nature, always needs good relationships. Now, what is the most terrible prison? Can you guess? What is the most terrible prison? There are many kinds of prison. One person, one cell. Uh, how can you say there is a... Uh, have you ever seen, watched the movie uh, there is a, a Bapion. Have you? Uh, yeah, Bapion. Uh, Bapion is the name of prisoner. He was isolated. The lonely island. There was nobody. The prisoner cannot see anything, any person. It means loneliness is a terrible punishment to us. Uh, don't you think so? Yeah. So, the philosopher Aristotle, Aristotle said, human beings, human beings are social animals. What does that mean? Originally, we can survive in the society. What is the smallest society? Yeah, family. As soon as you are born in this world, you already have partner. Who? Your parents. Did he choose your parents? Did he choose your family? No. I was thrown. I was thrown maybe by God or by nature. Nobody planned before the birth, uh, I will go to the uh, Fox family. You, you never imagined. You never made uh, your own goal, any purpose. So, wonderful, one famous philosopher said, we are thrown 
we are thrown in this world. So, as soon as we are born, we have already relations. If you have any parents, you cannot survive. So, one the most important blessing in human beings having good parents. So having good parents really influence our life. But we cannot select our parents. And after when we grow up, we have another relationship. What? What is it? Friend. Now, friend. Friend. So, uh, it's not easy to live a societal life without friends. You know, we need a friend. Why? We are social animals. Already 2,500 years ago, Aristotle to find out this human nature. Human is uh, yeah. Yes. What is the meaning of social animal? animal? A social means we need a relationship with other people in the society. Animal? Yeah. He called, if we are one of animals, we are social animals. So you don't like animal. Yeah. If it's human being an animal. Yeah. In fact, in fact, we have animal aspects. We have this instinct. We have instinct of eating, instinct of sex, instinct of resting. Maybe we are not evolutionists. We are evolved from the some animal we can say. I mean only uh, in the physical body. So anyway, yeah, you, you, don't, uh, you don't care too much about animal. So we can say, we are social being. Are you satisfied? Yeah, no, we are social, social being. being. Okay. So friend, friend, if you have, uh, if you meet wonderful friend, I think your life can be different. Sometimes we can find, even in the novel, we meet any bad friend, our life becomes terrible, right? So good relationship with the friend is very important. After we grow up, after teenagers, we should also meet one woman, one lady, and one guy. What is that? Husband and wife. So, if you meet good husband, if you meet good wife, maybe your family life or your all through life can be changed, I think. So, relationship is very important. But, as uh, Yana pointed out, there are lots of relationships. We can have ideal relationship, the best relationship of the collaboration. But in fact, there are lots of conflicts. So we should learn how to solve the conflict. We can see the couples, they exchange their relationship, the exchange with the blows, fighting, hmm? or throwing the boxes to their husbands and wife. Hmm? That is not good relationship. So making good relationship is not, is not easy. We should learn how to have good relationship. It means how to solve the conflicts. We always uh, can have the conflicts. Why? Because we are different. I'm a Christian. He's Islam. 
So we have different culture and different religion. So at, when we meet first, it's not easy to understand each other. So it can be conflicts. It's natural. Conflicts itself is not bad or good. Confl one, conflicts itself is fact. But what we should do is how to solve the conflict. If I don't have any respect to other religion, I can ignore his opinion. And if he, if he accepts any other people's dignity or value, he can also ignore. And at last there is no communication, or sometimes we can have conflicts, we can have war, right? South Korea and North Korea have different ideology, and now we have war. So we should know how to solve the conflicts. But nowadays, many studies in the university and in the uh, middle and high school, the scholars and the teachers, the professors, usually don't teach us how to solve the conflicts. We usually learn the skills to get the job. So it's one of the important problems in these days, especially the capitalism emphasizes making money, making economy well. But the writer points out several problems. They are losing neighbors. They are even losing the collaboration in business. So he missed the olden times. But we cannot go back to the olden times. So how can you solve this problem? He suggests us, you should think of, you should consider business word, business word as neighbor. Neighbor. And it means we have different country, but we are neighbors. So we should have the good relationship between different countries, between different people. So as we know, the globe is getting narrow and narrow, like a village. So our neighbors is not far from us. So business is a, business world is a neighborhood. So the writer says, in the business, in the like family, like a neighborhood, we should have collaboration. It, it's kind of a creation, creation. So, I and my wife make a creation. I made the four daughters. But we need the continuous relationship. And I should teach my kids how to solve the conflicts. They already have lots of conflicts in my family. They're shouting, yelling, <laughs> sometimes kicking. Why? I think most of people are egoistic aspect. So we should learn, we should teach, the parents should teach how to solve. It means it's kind of, uh, you should teach the wisdom. So this is the idea of business. So, um, as a, one of Asian people, and as a professor, I want to tell you we should not lose the wonderful traditional heritage Oriental society has. Now, even now, I think you have wonderful relatives around your house, especially in underdeveloped country in Asia. But nowadays, many young people are so attractive to capitalism. So they like pop music, they like uh, Hollywood music. Sometimes they don't ignore their own country's traditional music. I saw lots of young people in Korea, they don't know the Korean traditional music, 
but they really know very well the Western pop pop music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think uh, already I found out many Asian people who lose, who are losing their good tradition. What is that good tradition? The American or Western society are already lost their wonderful tradition. Christianity made a good atmosphere in their history, but they are now losing. So we should be careful not to lose our wonderful heritage, collaboration, work together. So of course, this is idea, but uh, we should try to achieve our goal continuously. Of course, we cannot achieve completely on this world, but it doesn't mean we, it's okay, we don't need any ideas. We need ideas. And we, if you have ideas, you, you can have the purpose of your life, and you can have the purpose of your study, I think. I think you are really blessed young people. Many young people in your country have some dream, but uh, if they don't have any money, they cannot go abroad. So I think you are one of the blessed person. So when you study and when you get rich, when you have lots of knowledge, when you have a lot of wisdom, please devote yourself to the poor people in your country to the underprivileged people in your own country. And you should develop your countries, not only economically, but also spiritual. Spiritual is very important. Mm. Yeah, I think this is the point of his, uh, his lesson here. If you have uh, any question, please. Do you think mm. should be should speak up? Okay. Do you think egoism should be in human beings? Egoism? Mm -hmm. Human. Yeah, many so. people are ego egoistic, yeah. but I don't mean. Human beings are originally only egoistic. No. Human beings have two aspects, egoistic and altruistic. We should accept this fact. Uh, but I think uh, through our education or through our religious life, we can culture, cultivate our nature more altruistic. Why? Altruistic life make us more happy. Many people think uh, egoistic uh, life, only egoistic life can give us the profit or benefit. But it's a very narrow society. If you see law, altruistic, it means collaboration or helping others make us more happy. And please try. If you help other people, I think you can feel happy. Don't you think so? When you kick somebody else, do you feel happy? I think when you help others, you can feel more happy. Of course, when you get help, we feel happy. But I think when you help others, we feel happier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as a young people, you should have vision, you should have dream, mm -hmm. you should have uh, some purpose. So, I feel always happy mm -hmm. to meet you and to meet uh, young people who have lots of potentiality. Mm -hmm. I want to check one more point. Eh? Uh, when you see through, what time is it now? 
Uh, who li what's the character of life? What's the life? What is the opposite of the life? Death. Yeah, death. Death. When you, are, when you die, you cannot move. Motion is nothing, right? Spirit. What's the characteristic of life? It's moving. It's growing. It needs. It wants to survive. It wants to grow, right? Mm. If you live, if you are now have a life, it means you move something or you are moving you are some changing you are growing or seed there is an apple seed this apple seed if he seed is not dead when the seed is on the soil the seed finds the wet, wetness, the find the word, the seed need after see sprout, it needs sun, air, some nutrients. Yes. The life always try to grow, yeah. right? But the seed or the tree is dead. It doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. So the Life means change or growing. Growing is very important. So any business has some life. It's growing, it is changing, or sometimes it is breaking down. So life is always growing. So when we are young, we can be compared as a seed. When the seed uh, grow up, what's the finer uh, purpose of seed? Fruit. Maybe fruit. Eh? Fruit. Every year. Be before having fruit, they have blossom, flowers. Flowers. Yeah. And they have branches before that. And they sprout. It's kind of a growth stage. Yeah, uh, yeah. growth stage st steps. Oh, so when we see through our growth uh, steps, at first we need some dependent stage. Uh, before being adult, maybe we need about 20 years to be helped by parents, right? Without our parents, without parents' help, we cannot survive this world. So we need a dependent age or dependent stage, dependent step. But after that, that's not all. If you are always dependent person, we think he or she is not mature. This is the mature stage. What is the, the next or next stage is independent. Or autocratic, autocratic stage. So after being adult, we, uh, we can stand by ourselves without any help from father or friends. So we can think this stage is more mature stage, right? So many people think the independent stage, independent step is the final step. But writer says, or when you think over again, this is not final stage. 
We need the interdependent. Interdependent stage. It means we need the relation with others. We need a husband. We need friends. What? We are not perfect. We are not perfect. So we need others' help, others' supplement. And I can also supply good things to other people, to the friends. So the finer and the mature stage is interdependent to stage. So if you have a good relationship with other people, we can have satisfaction, we can have happiness. The final purpose of life, I think, as Aristotle said, happiness. However, or whatever we do, the final purpose is happiness. So the, to get the real happiness, we need have interdependent stage. Uh, nowadays, many women want to be independent from the man. The bondage of family, the bandage of family. So now there's many young women live by themselves alone. But I suggest that if you have no how to good relationship, you'd better have a wonderful family life. Like me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, I feel supplied by my wife's love. Of course, there are lots of conflicts, but I saw that conflict by dialogue, by respect her, and honor her, and mutual respect make us more happy. One plus one is two in mathematics, but in interdependent staff, one plus one make 20 m, 2,000. It is called synergy. Have you ever heard of synergy? Synergy effect. Synergy effect means wonderful result, wonderful result. So uh, we should not forget this fact. We need interdependent steps, interdependent stage. It means good relationship with other people, especially very different person from me. So Islam should have dialogue with Christianity. Orthodox also have relationship with the Taoism or Confucianism. Especially Confucianism and Islam is very uh, obstinate character. Why? They always emphasize there is only one God, one Jesus. So everybody else is, is not God. But in Hinduism, there are several gods. So one of the strong aspect of Hinduism, the Hindus observes other religion. A a anyway, I don't deny Christianity, but we should know our good points or bad points, weak points and strong points of our country, of our religion, of my characteristic. So if you, know, if you really know to get the happiness, we should be interdependent. It's possible. It's not just theory. So I hope you can be a wonderful leaders in your family or in your country. And please love your country. You should not be an egoistic person. I think, as I said to you, you have lots of blessings from your country and from your neighbors. So when you finish your study, Please devote yourself to making your country interdependent. Right? So we should be a peaceful leader. Peaceful leader.
in order to be leader, we should be interdependent. We don't need just charismatic person. We need collaborative leader. Now, this is the philosophy. His philosophy and Aristotle's philosophy, and I agree with his philosophy. Okay. Now I think you can understand all of this chapter. Uh, who is next presenter? You. And uh, uh, please read more and more. Okay? Please understand completely the chapter. And uh, Oksana made a good example of presentation. Please uh, try to make good PowerPoint. Okay? PowerPoint is for showing us some drawings, uh, some pictures to help our understanding. Okay? <coughs> you should not write only some sentences on the PowerPoint. Okay? <coughs> Stand up. I forgot you again. Ah. You again? Okay? Huh? Wang Rui. Ah, please, uh, attention and bow in Korean. Hmm. Chariot. Okay. Yana. Yana. Slow, slow. Please tell her. Slow, okay? Yeah, slow, okay. Please do. Tarion. Tarion. Yes, please pass it. Okay. Tarion. Yes, no, no, no. <laughs> Which from heart? Chaya, Kyone. So what? Yeah, I studied by heart. She did, but uh, it's very difficult to remember. Okay. Yeah, because I couldn't ah. speak Korean. Okay, okay. Okay. Chaya. Chaya. Kyone. Kyone. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. to emphasize is social being. But uh, sometimes humor is one of the animals, we can say. One of the animals. But the uh, spiritual animal or social animal or mental animal, we can say. Yeah. Yeah. I do, don't you think you don't have any instinct of animal? Yeah, well, yes, you have. Yeah, but what I give you. Okay. Uh, Why? Why we, we don't we don't tell animal has our our instinct, not we have animal instinct. Now when he 
divide yeah. of the world, hmm? uh, we can see animal or plant yeah. or mineral, mineral. Uh, right? Yeah. And the human mm -hmm. being. But in wide field, in wide aspect, we can human being also belong to animal world. Animal has also plant elements. And mineral, a uh, plant has also a mineral elements. When it divide plants, it can be divided into minerals. Even the human being, physical body, can be divided into minerals. Mm. So it's a kind of a step. This is mineral, this is plant. Plant has this element together. And the animal also has these two elements. And human beings, this is human beings' characteristic. Uh, this is the animal. Human beings have all these three elements together. So we can say human being is animal, but uh, human beings have their own characteristic. So in this sense, mm. uh, human beings are social animal. So it, this animal concept doesn't degrade the value of human beings. Yeah. Don't worry about that. I, I feel like, like that. Mm. So mm. why why we, we, we cannot say uh, I mean one why Aristotle uh, didn't say uh, animal uh, has uh, human beings social. It means uh, that is not characteristic of animal. Yeah, some animal or some oh. insects have social instinct. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all. Oh no. Oh. Not all. Like bees or ants, especially oh. have social characteristic. Mm -hmm. But especially human beings. The most important one of the most important characteristic is social. Social yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it means human beings cannot live by alone. But alone by themselves. Mm. We need uh, naturally have some relationship. With, uh, with all, all myself, when I fight uh, tigers or lions, mm. we cannot win. Yeah, of course. But <laughs> if we are together, get, give the wisdom, or we make any strategy together, we can even win the lion. Though we don't uh, weaker power than lions, why? We can have when we have cooperate. Mm. We can have more power, and especially we also have a spiritual power. But anyway, in that sen sentence, Aristotle want to emphasize the, the characteristic of so so social mm. sociality. We are social yeah. animal. Yeah. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Mm. And he also emphasized the human characteristic is reason. Reason. Animals that don't have doesn't have any reason. Reason. Yeah. And in really, he's not a religious person. But uh, as a religious people, we can say we also have a spirit. Is it interesting? <laughs> yeah. Plus, uh, of course. Yeah. You have never listened to philosophy in your country? No, oh, I never. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I study about philosophy. As a, a counter, you need the philosophy. This <laughs> <laughs> so, is very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very, interesting. very attractive. This is not just theory. We should try to put it into our practice mm -hmm. in our life. Without practice, any theory is dead. Yeah. 
now. Okay, and I'm really happy to meet you in yeah, this class. Yeah, me, me too. Mm. <laughs> so please try to understand the spirit of Para. Uh, para, para. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a good relationship with uh, Mr. Yu, Chun yeah. Yu, last time yeah, yeah. you met him. Who is your best friend in this class now? My best friend. Mm. In this class. Uh, maybe Jan Shou. Not now? Jan Shou. Chinese. Chinese guy. Chinese guy. I think we should doesn't study hard. <laughs> I think so. Huh? Please encourage him to study hard. She just like uh, study about language. Just she study about, she study hard about, uh, he study hard about Korean, Korean language. language. Yeah. Every day. She tried to speak Korean. I think some Chinese students don't understand English yeah. well. I'm sorry. Hmm? Yeah. So that's our problem, Professor. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, uh, company just like to see about the income. Yeah, all the income. Mm -hmm. They should know the real purpose yeah. of business. Yeah. Oh, right. 